the competition of a lifetime in conjunction with Juro in Germany, we were absolutely inundated with thousands of entries. The prize, a trip to Germany to watch Johann's Hanover 96 play the sporting giants of Bayern Munich, plus the chance to meet Johann straight after. Our winner, Mark, and his friend Dave were in their element. The boys were treated like royalty with a plush hotel adjacent to the ground and our good friend Dirk from the club doing his all to make them feel like kings. It's a dream weekend, isn't it? The Bundesliga is a fantastic uh, league to sort of come and watch. The fans are amazing. Looking forward to sort of seeing how they compare to the Premier League. This, this will be the place where the players have to meet the press after the game. Yeah. They're coming out here and the press will be all over there. We can go into the referee's changing room. Never beat this feeling. Places to be Our on the winners field, soon found themselves uh, warming the bench, these... but unlike actual footballers, they didn't seem too disappointed. The, the subs get a great view. Yeah, that's my aim. Yeah. Just to be I'll a great be sub. Be yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mark was loving his surroundings and clearly found the executive box comfortable. Oh yeah, this is uh, this is the hot seat. This was the first time the two fans had ever been given such a personalised walk around inside a stadium. Mark had even managed to grab himself a traditional German treat, which then seemed to accompany him for the rest of the tour. Sure enough, the juggernaut that is Bayern Munich rolled into Hanover, and some of the best players in the world strolled casually into the stadium. Philip Lahm, Thomas Muller, and Jerome Boateng, to name but a few. Mark couldn't believe it and was beaming at the experience. The match was superb to see Bayern Munich um, and obviously Hanover play that sort of game. It was, uh, you know, the crowd was brilliant, the atmosphere was electric. <laughs> and if that wasn't enough, before he could catch his breath, he then had a chance to mingle with the players he'd so excitedly been watching. A big thank you to Trace Sports. Um, obviously seen uh, a fantastic game, uh, two of the best sides in the Bundesliga. And uh, on the day, we're probably a bit overwhelmed by great, great champions. It had been 24 hours to remember for Mark, and to crown it all off, he got to meet the man himself, our Jojo. Hi. Hi. I'm Mark. Nice to meet you, Mark. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Mark seemed to be looking for a new job. He'd suddenly become a football journalist and was full of questions for Mr. Juru. We think he was pretty happy with his competition prize. So, uh, difficult game. It did seem as though he had a few chances. So if you were to benchmark our champions, or soon to be champions, Man United and Bayern Munich, how would you sort of compare the two? And have you got plans for the end of the season? What sorts of plans? Despite the heavy defeat, Joe was able to keep things in perspective and was his normal calm self. Tough game today. Yeah. Very tough, you know, I think one of the best teams in Europe at the moment, yeah. even in the world. And, uh, I have to say we, we tried to fight, but they were, they were just so strong. And it's true that we were missing some sharpness up front and it's always difficult when we don't score against them, they're always going to come to you and try to, to make some damage and that's what they did. Jojo was sporting a swollen eye, the result of a challenge during his match-long tussle with German star Mario Gomez. But as always, even battered and bruised, he was still all smiles. It looked like he took a clatter in the face at one point. As well, like yeah. Gomez gave me something yeah. <laughs> in the first base. It's part of the game, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. fighting and yeah. fighting. So it's OK, it's all good. For his Mark, first yeah? encounter with a professional footballer, Mark was pleasantly surprised at how down-to-earth our Jojo was. I didn't know what to expect. I was a bit nervous that he, uh, he might be a bit cold, doesn't want to talk to me, perhaps hasn't got the time. He's obviously just sustained an injury, he's come out of a bad, bad loss. Um, and you just wonder how, what goes through a footballer's mind after a 5-1 defeat, a 6-1 defeat. Um, and uh, he was great, uh, really good. And uh, you know, as a person, really nice to talk to, really down to earth. And uh, yeah, I've got a lot of time for him. So I'll be following his career from now on.